Hi there, finally Friday. Hope it's going along nicely. Thanks for joining us for your web forecast. Well, more of the same today. Yeah, the song remains the same. Yesterday we hit 55 for a high, not much better today. And uh, we've got clouds, uh, some wind, and some showers in the forecast once again. It's this uh, cool trend hangs on. But guess what? We're about to see some changes. Now, you're going to have to be patient. I know we've been saying that since last October when the jet stream set up a very active and winter-like pattern. It's been around since October. It's finally going to change. The jet stream is really what gave us a record-setting winter and has made things so cool this spring. Well, we're about to see big changes. I'll show you what I mean here in just a moment, but uh, we're going to warm things up. Finally, spring will start feeling like spring late next week. So hang in there. Keep your jeans, your sweaters out, uh, jackets, and the umbrella today. The upper level low will continue to spin. Um, it's had an influence on us for a week now, and we're into the cool side of things. And uh, we could see some spotty showers in addition to the mostly cloudy skies and windy conditions today. High temperatures are going to be a good full 10 degrees below normal. Normal high is now up to 67. And with the wind, it will feel even cooler than that. Now, here's the setup we've had since last fall, late October, about the third weekend of October, a big ridge set up out to the west with the jet stream, and the jet stream flow has a big trough, a big dip in the east. When you get things like that, well, you allow the cold air to descend out of Canada into this trough. Out to the west, they've been warm all winter long, and they continue that way this spring with the ridge where temperatures from the south work their way in here. In fact, yesterday, San Diego, California, set a record high for the entire month of July. They've never gotten to 95 degrees before during the month of, or during the month of May, rather. They did yesterday. May 1st, they hit 95 degrees. Unbelievable. For us, we've got a chill, and we have all winter long. The record cold, the record snows, all because of this big dip in the jet stream. Well, the polar jet retreats back to where it should be, locked up towards the poles, and uh, that's going to occur next week. And it'll allow the warmer temps to finally visit us. and It'll start to feel like spring again for a change. Not the case over the next few days. Yeah, we're cool. Showers possible during the afternoon with highs in the mid-50s today. Tomorrow we'll get up to 60, but morning showers, afternoon clouds. Yeah, another chilly day. And while sunshine breaks out on Sunday, it's going to be cool. Highs back into the upper 50s once again. Uh, Cinco de Mayo is looking sunny as well. We'll get into the 60s and then a nice warming trend next week with 70s finally working their way in there. So stay bundled up today, mid 50s for highs. Should get to around 60 on your Saturday, showers early, and then sunshine on tap for your Sunday, but more cold waiting in the wings on Sunday. This is what's going to work its way in here as we get into next week. This trough finally lifts up into Canada, allowing some of these warmer temperatures to head our way. It will finally feel like spring for next weekend. 57 the high today. Yeah, it's going to be breezy, mostly cloudy. Could see a few stray showers. Better rate chances overnight and into your Saturday morning. We'll start to dry out Saturday afternoon, but only see a high of 60. Now we're sunny, but cool again on Sunday. Cinco de Mayo into the 60s with sunshine. And then the warming trend really kicks in next week. Yeah, the polar jet heads up into Canada. Warmer temps invade from the south, and I think it's about time we got some of that. 70s, get ready to get your flip-flops out next weekend. This weekend, it's going to have to be the sweater and at times the umbrella, especially on Saturday. Thanks a lot for joining us for your web forecast. Have a good weekend. I'm meteorologist John James. Hang in there.